Okay guys, so welcome back again. So in this video, let's see that how do we do schedule backups of our MongoDB database using Node.js. And for this, we won't be using any third party package to backup our database. But to schedule our backups, we would be using only a single package that is called Node.cron. And we would be using one dev dependency that is called Node.mon. And currently what I've done here is this, that I've created this one app.js file, which is currently empty here. And then we have this public folder that I just created here, where our backups would reside or whenever a backup has been taken, it would go into this folder that is called public. And then inside the package.json file, it is the default package.json file. So firstly, what I'll do, I'll install the dependencies that are required. So let me do npmi dash dash save dev node mod, and it helps us to restart the application and it is only used for development purposes. And now we'll use another package that is called node cron. So let me do npmi node cron and that is to schedule the backups and we'll use this dependency later on in the video so let me clear out the console so firstly let's go to our mongodb compass where we see all the databases that are present locally on my machine and here we see that we have a couple of databases but for this tutorial i would be using this database that we want to make a backup of and this is a tutorial i created a couple of videos back that is the role based access control tutorial so here we see that in this uh, a database that is RBAC tutorial. We have two collections. One is the sessions collection and one is the users collection. And each of them has four documents. So firstly, let's see that how do we use the mongodump command to backup this database and the same command we would be using inside node.js itself. So to backup this database, what we need to do, we need to write mongodump like this and then we need to provide in the database name. So we can provide it like this. So db would be equal to rbac underscore tutorial uh, that is the name of the database itself and then we need to provide an archive here so archive and this should be equal to the path where you want to keep your backups and here we would be providing a path called rbac dot gzip because we would be using gzip compression here and then finally we provide a flag here that is called gzip so that the database is compressed and it is backed up inside this file here and here I am simply providing in a relative path to the current folder. So this backup would go inside this folder here that is inside the root folder, not in the public folder. So if we press enter here, we see that this file has been created that is rbac.gzip. And if we go back to our database here, so let's go back here and now let me delete this database. So let's drop this database from here. So let me remove this database from here or uh, before dropping. Let me show you the collection here. That is the users collection. So here we have these users and uh, it is for a reason I am showing you this because I want to show you how to backup this, uh, how to restore this database also. So now let me simply delete this uh, uh, database from here. So let's copy it. Let's paste it here and let's drop this database. So we see now the database has is not present here inside our MongoDB. So let's go back and now let's see that how do we restore this uh, database, uh, restore the RBAC database from this database that is present inside our system. So we can use the mongo restore command. So restore and here we need to provide in the DB name in which we want our backup to go to. If we do not provide in the DB name, then the database name that would be created would be RBAC only that is using the file name here. But here we are explicit that is RBAC underscore tutorial like this then we need to provide in the archive that is from where we want to get the backup from and it should come from rbac.gzip like this and finally we need to provide in the flag here that is gzip and let's press enter and we see that the database has been backed up and if we go back here and if we refresh our collections in and if we refresh our databases here we see that our RBAC tutorial has been backed up or it has been restored, not backed up, but it has been restored. And if we go into inside the users collection, then we see that all the documents are present inside this collection. So now let's see that how do we back up using Node.js? So let me clear out the console here. So now the meat of the video starts. And now let me copy that command from here. That is this mongodump command. So let me copy it here from here and let's keep it here inside our app.js. So let me make a comment here and let's keep this command here. So now what we need here, we need the child process here because we'll be using the spawn from the child processes to create a child process to backup our MongoDB. So let's say const something equal to require child. 
child process and here we can simply extract that thing here that is spawn because there are four ways to create child process one is the exec one is the exec file one is the spawn and one is the fork but here i am going to use the spawn and if you don't know that how these trial processes work then you can watch my video that is linked above here where i have explained in detail that how each of the processes work and now we also need the path from path const path equal to require path like this and now we need to provide in the database name that is which database we want to backup so let's provide in a database name and this should be equal to something and in our case this should be equal to rbac underscore tutorial like this and then we also need to provide in the path where the backup would reside so let's create that path so const archive path equal to something and this should be equal to path or join and here we need to provide in the dir name then we need to put it inside the public folder like this and then the name of the file and in our case it should be this database name dot gzip so let me provide in a template string here so let me provide it like this so it should be called db name dot gzip like this and now we need to create a function here to back up our mongodb database so let me minimize this terminal here so let's create that function so let's create a function here so let's say backup mongodb something like this and now here inside this function we'll spawn our child process so we'll say const child equal to spawn and here we need to provide in the command and the command would come from this command that we actually used inside the terminal here so here we can simply provide in mongo dump like this and then we need to provide in the arguments for this command and the first argument would be this db name here that is like this thing here so how can we do that it is pretty simple to we can simply say db and i'm using a template string because i want to use this db name variable inside this uh, argument here and this db should be equal to the db name so let me provide in the db name like this and then the second argument would be the archive so let me provide archive again inside the template screen string so it should be archive archive equal to dollar and then we need to provide in the archive path like this and the last argument would be gzip so we can simply use the single quotes here and this should be hyphen hyphen gzip like this and now we need to listen for the outputs for this child process so we can do that very easily we can simply say child dot std out dot on and here we have data that is on data and we have the data itself that is the actual data and here we can simply console log the data so console dot log and here we can say std out like this and then we can print out the data itself that is coming from the standard output so now let me create a standard error also so let's copy this and let's paste it here and std error like this and let's copy this and let's paste it here and this output comes if there is an error inside the console and now we also need to listen for the errors so let's say child dot on and here we have the error if there is any and then we have the actual error not console dot log error but simply error like this and here we can simply console log the error message here so error would be something so let's put it like this so error and this error is different from this standard error because this error comes from the console and this error comes from our node.js file itself so make sure that you understand the difference between these two errors here and finally we can also listen for the exit event on this child so we can say child dot on and here we have the exit event like this and here we have two things that is the code and the signal like this and here we can make if checks so if code so here we can simply console.log that process exit with code so process exit with uh, code and the code can be this code here itself so code would be code like this and then else if else if signal 
if there is a signal that is the user sent something like control c or something like that then we can also print out that that is process killed with signal and here we can also provide in the signal like this else else we can what uh, we can console log here so else we can simply console.log that backup is successful like this and we can put an emoji here of a check mark here like this so almost that's all what we need to do to create a backup so let's save this app.js file but still we need to call this function that is backup mongodb so here we can directly call this function and let's see that whether it's working or not and later on we'll be including scheduling also so let's call this function that is backup mongodb so let's save this from here and let me remove this rbac.gz file from here and it doesn't matter though our backup would go inside the public folder and currently our public folder is an empty folder so let's open the terminal here and let's press ctrl c and if we'll have a look at the package.json we have a uh, no script here so let's create a script here that says dev like this and we'll say nodemon app.js simply like this so now let's close this packet.json and let's try to run this app. So let's do npm run dev. And we see that we are getting some error here and the exit code is one. And why is it so? Let's have a look at the script here or the command here. Mongo dump db equal to some db. Oh, this should be only a single equal to not double equal to, but it should be single equal to. So let's save this again. And as soon as we saved here, we see that we are getting again some outputs inside the console, but this time we are getting backup is successful. And if we have a look at the public folder, we see that we have created this folder that is called rbactutorial.gzip. So that's all what we need to do here. And since we are seeing this buffer here, what we can do, we can directly output it inside the terminal that is convert the buffer into an readable data so since this is a data what we can do we can simply say buffer dot from and from data like this and this should be dot to string something like this so let's save this and again we see that as soon as we save since we are up our application is restarted always by node mods so, so we see that again we created a backup here and if we have a look at the statements here we see that though the backup is successful but we are always getting this output from the uh, from the terminal that is standard error and it is a problem from mongodb side and it is not our problem this is completely fine even if you are getting this standard error but we see that we are getting these uh, statements here that is writing rbac tutorials users to something and then dot sessions that is the collection to something and then done dumping of rbac tutorial dot sessions and our backup is successful and we also see this gzip file so it means that our backup is successful and you can verify it by yourself as i have shown you before that is how to restore from this file to your mongodb so that you can do on your own but for now let's schedule the mongodb backups so for this for that we have installed this package that is called node cron so let's require this package at the top here and now we do not uh, require this so let's uh, let me keep it here for you for your reference so const cron equal to require node cron like this and then we can simply use the schedule function function so we can simply say cron dot schedule and if you don't know that how to use this package that is node cron then i have a video about scheduling jobs inside node.js and i link that video at the top here and that video should be in the description as well where i've explained in detail that is how to use this node cron and here we need to provide in the cron expression so that we can provide in the double quotes and then we have a callback function which is, which gets executed at every interval which you specify here in the cron expression and what we want to execute we simply want to execute this thing here that is backup mongodb simply like this and now we need to provide in the cron tab here so if you don't know that how to write cron tabs then i have this site here that is cron tab guru and here you can get to know that how to write cron crons very easily so let me simply copy this cron from here so this cron is for every fifth minute so let me copy this cron from here and let's go back and here let me paste it here and this uh, cron or this job this mongodb backup would always be executed at every fifth minute but now 
to demonstrate it i want to execute it every fifth second so let me simply put a sixth star here because the actual crons which you use inside linux or in or on unix machines they only contain the five uh, five values here or five fields but this cron this package that is node cron also uses the sixth uh, sixth field here and here we can provide in the seconds here. Otherwise, cron only works from minute and upwards. But here in this package, we can use the seconds thing also. So this cron would always execute every fifth second. So now what we can do, we can simply start the application again by doing npm run dev. And let me save this app.js first. And now let me delete this full file from here. That is from this public folder. So the public folder is empty. So let me run uh, do npm run dev. And we see that our backup is successful and we get a backup here. And after another 55 seconds, we'll be seeing the same statement that is backup successful. So let me delete it and let's see that if we are able to get backup after five seconds. Yes. So let me delete it again. And after five seconds, the job will again run and we again be getting the backup here like this. So this backup would always run at every fifth second. So let me stop the process here. So now to backup every night. So let's see some examples here. So every night or every six hours or every 12 hours. So or every day, let's look at this thing here. That is every day. So this cron expression would backup your database exactly at zero zero hours every night. So let's copy this cron expression and you can paste that cron expression here instead of th this thing here. So this should be at every night or every day. And now that's all for the MongoDB backup here. And if you want to create a restore function to restore MongoDB database from any of your folders, you can create a child process similarly like this. That is using the Mongo restore command and the Mongo restore command we also already have inside our terminal. So this is the Mongo restore command here. So let's see where is that. So this is the Mongo restore command. So let me copy this thing from here and let me paste it here. And this would also be kept here as a reference for you guys to implement restoration of MongoDB database from the backup itself. So I have both these commands and that is uh, I have both these commands inside the Git repo also. So let's save this. So guys, that's all about this video. So if you have liked the video to hit the like button, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel. So thank you. Bye bye. Tata. Take care and have a great year ahead and happy new year.